It seems there's growing truth to the rumors about celebrities knowing all about Diddy's alleged dark side long before the public did. Word on the street is that federal investigators are set to name every celebrity who supposedly watched him harm others and you can bet these stars are starting to panic. This comes after another lawsuit was filed, accusing Diddy not only of assault but also claiming multiple high-profile witnesses stood by without intervening. Apparently, this latest case was the breaking point, and now it looks like celebrities involved might need to lawyer up fast as federal charges could be imminent. If you've been following this saga, it shouldn't come as a surprise that people allegedly stood by while Diddy acted out. Numerous accounts over the years have hinted at this. For example, in Cassie's lawsuit, she claimed several friends and employees of Diddy's watched him harm her without stepping in. Similarly, Don Richard mentioned that artists like Usher and Nee Yo allegedly witnessed troubling incidents with Cassie yet turned a blind eye. And then there's Lil Rod's suit, in which he names several celebrities such as Cuba Gooding Jr., Usher, Meek Mill, and Young Miami as potentially complicit in Diddy's shady dealings. Things escalated even further recently when Texas-based attorney Tony Busby held a press conference, revealing he now represents over 120 alleged victims. Busby shared that more than 3,000 people have reached out to his office with allegations against Diddy, and he plans to start filing lawsuits across multiple states. While some may question whether certain claims are financially motivated, Busby emphasized that his team has thoroughly reviewed the evidence backing these accusations. 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming, people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. If they're really about to name everyone who allegedly helped Diddy harm these victims, brace yourself Hollywood is about to face a major shakeup. Expect a flood of lawyers scrambling to file motions to keep these names hidden or to have records sealed because, trust, some very powerful names could be exposed in this lawsuit. The attorney went on to share some chilling details about the alleged victims, with one story standing out as particularly disturbing. One woman who claimed she was pregnant at the time said she attended a Diddy event. Since she was expecting, she avoided alcohol to stay sober. However, she alleges that someone spiked her drink, causing her to black out. When she came to, she found herself in bed with Diddy and claimed he had assaulted her so violently that she was left physically hurt. Another instance, an individual, uh, this time not a minor, uh, was attended a group dinner, allegedly with Sean Combs in Miami. Uh, she wasn't drinking because she was pregnant, uh, but she, whatever she drank at the table, apparently, at least according to her, was laced with something. She blacked out and she woke up in the same bed, again, allegedly, with Mr. Combs uh, in his uh, mansion in Miami. Her and her ankle were torn and sore. Um, and I could go on. I mean, literally. Hurting anyone is beyond horrifying, but to do this to a pregnant woman, a person already facing physical and emotional changes to bring new life into the world is absolutely shocking. Yet, the part about him allegedly spiking drinks sadly isn't that surprising anymore, considering it's becoming a disturbing pattern, and it gets even more troubling. According to Page Six, one of the 120 victims who came forward claims they were just nine years old when Diddy allegedly assaulted them. Attorney Tony Busby shared this distressing account, and it's a horrifying reminder of the seriousness of these allegations. This individual, who was nine years old at the time, was taken to an audition in New York City with Bad Boy Records. Other boys were there to audition as well. All the kids were seeking TV or music careers with promises of, I'll make you a star. According to Busby, this individual was, say, allegedly by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio with the promise to both his parents and himself of getting a record deal. He also discussed about another 15-year-old victim who was sad by Diddy and his friends in the studio saying, Another instance, an individual 15 years old at the time was flown to New York City to attend a party where she was dread and then taken to a private room allegedly in the presence of Mr. Combs. This female individual was say a, and then other individuals took turns. Her page six reported that Bisbee said, the dozens of allegations involved violent Saya facilitated intercourse with the controlled substance dissemination of video recordings and say of minors. If you're thinking it couldn't possibly get any worse, buckle up because when it comes to Diddy, things always seem to escalate. Attorney Tony Busby recently added to the legal storm 
filing five new suits in the Southern District of New York on Sunday night, along with two more in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. According to reports, one of these lawsuits was filed by a woman who claimed she was just 13 years old when she was allegedly assaulted by Diddy, with other celebrity friends reportedly watching, according to Variety. Jane Doe was 13 years old on September 7, 2000 when she tried to attend the MTV Video Music Awards she could not get into the awards show without a ticket and therefore approached several limousine drivers after the event to see if she could attend an after-party one of the drivers allegedly worked for Calms and drove the plaintiff to the party where she signed a non-disclosure agreement and accepted a drink they went on to say that after just one drink the plaintiff alleged that she began to feel woozy and lightheaded and made her way to an empty bedroom to lie down soon after Calms. Allegedly entered the room room with a male and female celebrity she then alleges that she was raised by the male celebrity as the female celebrity watched before allegedly being by Combs as both celebrities watched the suit goes on to allege that after the, the plaintiff who now lives in Alabama fell into a deep depression which continues to affect every facet of her life. Child, there's so much to unpack here, especially considering the age of the victim involved. First off, what was a 13-year-old doing alone at the VMAs? I'm not trying to victim blame, but she should never have found herself in that situation. It's also concerning that she reportedly disappeared for several hours and no one seemed to look for her that's just heartbreaking. It suggests she might not have a stable home life. Unsurprisingly, Diddy's lawyers have denied these allegations, claiming that the incident never occurred. They released a statement saying, Mr. Combs and his legal team have full confidence in the facts their legal defenses and the integrity of the judicial process in court the truth will prevail that Mr. Combs has never say anyone adult or minor man or woman. It seems they're also attempting to silence more victims and keep court filings private, arguing that this will ensure Diddy receives a fair trial. Reports indicate that his attorneys filed a motion on Sunday with the judge in the United States vs. Combs case requesting to prohibit further extrajudicial statements from potential witnesses and their lawyers that could substantially interfere with Diddy's right to a fair trial. However, whispers on the streets suggest that Diddy's celebrity friends are pressuring for these cases to be removed from the media. It's not too surprising, considering there have been rumors in the past about many celebrities allegedly settling with victims before their cases could reach court to avoid a messy scandal. Fans have commented, A lot of celebrities are starting to panic since Diddy got pinched good. It's about time they became fearful they should know that wiping their social media won't save them. Nobody walks away from this. All of Diddy's freak-off friends are stressed out and Diddy degenerates are in full-on panic mode. This is a total mess? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and then be sure to check out the next video.